The following program has been rated PG-13. All right, guys. Now, I want to see if y'all picked up on what I picked up on last night. Now, last night was the triumphant return of Eddie Murphy, the king of SNL after 35 years of boycotting and rejecting be on the show. And I'm going to tell you right now, the producers of SNL made it very clear that they were going to get some payback on Eddie last night. Now, for those of you who watched it and for those of you that have not watched it, I want you to go back and watch what I'm telling you. Look at the signs of what we're going to talk about and tell me if I'm wrong. Now, we're going to start with this here. I want you to notice when Eddie comes out, the enthusiasm that he has, the energy that he's had, that he's ready to give that audience. And as he's getting ready to do his monologue, he's getting into it, what they do? They send out Tracy Morgan. Why? Because they were not going to allow Eddie to shine. And we'll get into that here in a second. But as Eddie is getting into his groove, as he's, as he's building up, to have an explosive night, which we were all waiting for. And quite frankly, I was very disappointed <laughs> because of what they did. They send out Tracy Morgan. Number one, Tracy Morgan's a funny dude, but nowhere on the level of Eddie Murphy and should not share the same stage. Then they think Tracy Morgan's getting ready to go away. Then what happens? They bring out somebody else. They bring out Chris Rock. And again, another person that cannot hold a candle to Eddie Murphy can't then when you think that's over what they do they bring out their newly crowned agenda pushing puppet dave chappelle and dave chappelle's a funny dude and he's probably right now the funniest man on the planet but you can't take away the fact that he's pushing an agenda in hollywood i don't care what you say you can get mad all you want to because he is and i'll cover that in one of my videos but they bring him out there. But there's something very significant that Dave Chappelle does. Now, Eddie Murphy's out there. And you can see in Eddie's spirit or whatever, he's, this was not scripted. He was not expecting this. So what does Dave Chappelle do? Dave Chappelle comes out, pulls out cigarettes, starts smoking. For one, it's not allowed. Even Eddie Murphy had to address it. He was like, yo, can you do that? And Dave was like, no. <laughs> but Dave Chappelle is playing that game right now. And... You have to compare the two things right here. And I'm going to. The two significant similarities between Eddie Murphy and Dave Chappelle. Now, when Dave Chappelle came back from going to Africa and being out of the comedy game, where did he go for his resurgence? He went to SNL. What did they do? What did they allow for Dave? They let him have his monologue uninterrupted by the way to get up there and perform his craft now when it comes to eddie <laughs> eddie gets out there which he's been campaigning about getting back into stand-up so of course this is the similarity here he's coming right back to snl to get back in the game in his resurgence and as soon as he gets ready to start doing his monologue they send out other black comedians that's significant. And they would not allow Eddie Murphy to shine last night. And you can see it all in Eddie's face. You see it in the spirit. You see it when he does his sketches. That enthusiasm is not there than it was originally when he first came out. That killed him. Go back and watch it. If you think I'm lying, go watch it. Watch the whole thing in its entirety. That spirit was just not there. And... They did that for a reason because you got to remember, Eddie Murphy rejected SNL and the producers never forgot that. Lauren Michaels never forgot Eddie Murphy saying no to them. Now, y'all got to remember from Eddie Murphy, for those of you who are not 80s babies like myself, Eddie Murphy back in the day was a rebel. He was one of the first black comedians, if not the first, to tell Hollywood no. And they never let that down. But Eddie Murphy again, lost his integrity. Just like a lot of our black comedians, they lose that integrity when, number one, they want the clamor 
and the appreciation of the fans. The same thing that Dave Chappelle mentioned. I'll cover, like I said, I'll cover that in one of my videos. But not only that, but Eddie Murphy was also talking about his financial issue. All right, y'all got to look much deeper into the surface, all right? Because when comedians get out there and that's a part of their monologue, there's a lot of truth to what they say. And Eddie Murphy was saying, well, he has 10 kids. And not only that, but he also has a lifestyle that he has to keep up with. Just because you buy a home doesn't mean that's it. No, when you are rich like that, you have bowling alleys and movie theaters and things like that in your home, there's always upgrades that you have to do. You have to maintain that lifestyle. And guess what? That money rolls. You got to remember from all of his lawyer fees to his taxes and everything, that man has money to make and that money starts to run out. So what does he do? He has to get back out there and start working. When you play that Hollywood game, you are in it until your death. And guess what? I mean, he's he, the man is 58 years old and looks incredible. Black don't crack. Because the man looks like he's probably 35. But I'm telling you, but seri it, that's something there where he has to get back out. He has to start making more money. And they did not let him forget what he did to them. That was deep. For them, then, okay, I almost forgot this. Then, so let's just say... All right, that none of this was by coincidence or whatever, right? Which is not. But then they take Kenan Thompson and send him on stage with Eddie Murphy. And nothing against Kenan Thompson, but he's a comedic actor. He's not a comedian. Two totally different occupations. He had no business on stage with Eddie Murphy. And you can even see in, in, in Kenan, when you look at him, He's like, what am I doing up here? That was all ad-libbed. But the main thing, the main takeaway from this is that they interrupted Eddie Murphy's monologue because they knew he would tear it down. And what they do, they pull the plug right out of that. And Chris Rock, Dave Chappelle, and Tracy Morgan, all three of them evil little nasty niggas. And that's exactly what I'm calling them because they could have said no. But they shadow on their own brother. I don't care what you say. None of them deserve to be up there with Eddie Murphy. None of them. They didn't do it to Dave Chappelle. They didn't do it to any other comedian that went up there. Any, oh, excuse me, any other black comedian to go up there and do that. They did not do that to them. They did it to Eddie Murphy. They did it to the king of comedy. None of them have ever obtained the success that Eddie Murphy has in stand up. Or in movies, not even Kevin Hart. Now, financially, with Kevin Hart, okay, yes, but to achieve multiple success in movies, y'all gotta understand with, with, with the, the empire that Eddie Murphy actually has when it comes to movies. Eddie Murphy is a billion, if not trillion dollar success maker when it comes to his movies alone. It has nothing to do with Delirious and Raw. A lot of y'all don't remember that, the Delirious and Raw days. Those were rock star proportion shows. Nobody, no one has come close to what Eddie Murphy did. And so here it is, the king of the mountain is back on top, what he likes to call home in SNL, and they pulled the plug and put a knife right in his back. His own brothers, I don't care what you say, that was foul. That was absolutely foul. They should have had enough respect to say, nah, let Eddie shine and do his thing. And they didn't do that at all. That's my problem with that. I'm telling you, Hollywood is a bitch. It really is. And it will never allow one brother to shine if they're not following the agenda that they push. And did you notice, remember before how Eddie Murphy said he wasn't going to say anything about Bill Cosby? Remember when he actually turned down the idea to play Bill Cosby? But what did he do? He had to take a shot at Bill Cosby last night. You gotta, you have to pay to play. And there it is. So I want y'all to go back and do me a favor. Leave comments down there and let's get it popping in the comment section. All right? Cause I, I, I really want to see what you guys have to think about that too. All right? All right, guys. So until then, I'm out.